Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Stellaris and the Empire of Dragonia. In the last episode, well, I don't know that it was the exact last episode, but um, our uh, previous executive, Ald Dragon, um, lost out in his election, and uh, Zappa Slave is now in command of our empire. He uh, apparently uh, sneakily got a uh, bigger uh, treasure hoard than uh, uh, Ald Dragon did. It was quite sneaky, Zappa. It was quite sneaky. Um, but, uh, yeah, basically, uh, the way that um, the plutocratic oligarchy uh, works is that if you have 200 um, influence, you can keep the person that you had before. Otherwise, it'll be random, in which case there's only a 1 in 4 chance that you will keep the previous person. So, that's the way it goes. So, unless I can quickly get back up to uh, 200 influence in 40 years, which is definitely possible, depending on how much I uh, spend, you know, it may be, uh, you know, we may be able to keep Zappa. Otherwise, maybe not. Um, unfortunately, as it is, I mean, I can go colonize some of these worlds, and I might, but the problem is... With the worlds that I have right now, and I think I need to turn down my uh, headphone. There we go. Uh, audio. Um, big problem is the frontier outposts, and not knowing exactly which ones are doing what. Once these guys are integrated, I can probably... Actually, you know what? I don't know that I can get rid of these. Uh, I think that would create a gap. Um, I could definitely go uh, colonize some of these... Uh, well, not that. Uh, that's Arctic. I could go colonize this continental world. Um, and that would be... Uh, and that would take care of it. That would definitely um, connect up this. I could, I could certainly get rid of the frontier outpost in uh, Hlal. I don't know about the one here in Zerf. Um, once these guys get integrated, I can definitely get rid of uh, the one over here. Uh, not sure that I... I mean, I could probably get rid of that one, but I think I would lose... I don't really care about this system. This system has absolutely nothing in it. Uh, but it is... A route, but these guys aren't going to be expanding, so I don't need to worry about that. But um, there's a chance that I'd lose that. Uh, we are working on arid colonization, which will help uh, once we integrate these guys. But that's going to be a while because we've got to integrate these guys first. We've got 28 months, so let's go ahead and get in on that. Um, I have added a couple more ships to the Ayug fleet. We've got... where are you? Uh, Destroyer Laris Magpie and Destroyer Sierra Mike 91. Um, so, that, that's, that's them. We can also colonize the world down here. It's not very big, but again, I want to I wanna move some of these... I, I'll, I'll need to move some of these worlds out. And Camelot is probably going to be the one that gets uh, sectored first. Um, it's not that big. It's only 14. Um, I could actually probably get rid of this uh, orbital hydroponic farm, but I don't know what I want to put, what I w would want to build instead. So that's probably what we're going to be looking at, unless we get a, a lucky tech and can expand. Otherwise, um, just going to be. Uh, getting to it. I don't know about... Let's see, what was down here again? Arctic and Arctic, that's right. Um, going to war against these guys is not going to be easy because they are in a federation. Um, actually. Huh. So, I can, declare, I can declare war against the federation. I just can't declare war against the federation using these guys. Hmm. I could vassalize an unidentified empire. That's oh my, that is a lot of war score. Um 
So we'd have enough to vassalize uh, the Tebadorans, but I think I would rather... Let's see. I don't know if I want to do this just yet. All right, well, let's see. Who would I be facing? Of course, these guys, and I'd want to go down there and take care of them. Uh, the Rekthalar Confederacy. The Uxvant League up here. Um, the Gurite Accord. That's these little guys here. Oh, actually, they're, they're these guys up here. And an unidentified empire that's even larger than they are. It's either the whoever's up here or people over here. So there's that. Um, but I think I would want to feed uh, the Galactic Tebadoran Council um, these worlds. So let's see. Where is it? There are three in that... Uh, there are three worlds in that system. Uh, Ton... No, okay, only two. I think I was looking at that and thinking it was the same thing. Either way, there's uh, two in that system. Uh, but where are you? Bera is one, okay. Uh, let's see. The other one is Tiramor. I don't like that it uh, resets the list all the way up at the top when you pull something over. Alright, I am missing it. I don't know that I'm going to do this, but... Uh, let's see. Those are the only ones that they have? Yeah. Okay. So that would be 58 war score. That's pretty substantial right there. Um, I definitely would not be able to vassalize anyone else. I could liberate a world... Which I could then feed stuff to. And I would probably want to do that with these guys. Um, I actually don't have... much. I guess they only have those two. Alright, let's, uh, let's not actually take a look at this right now. Uh, no, they've got four. Shala, Shala, Hazra, and Rektha. There's Rektha, Shala, oh, and Hazra over here. Okay. So, yeah. Um, I could probably... Since they've got two worlds here, I could probably liberate them and then uh, feed them these two systems eventually. After vassalizing them. Oh, good. We've got... Uh, Railguns 3, latest in electromagnetic accelerators. Railguns use twin particle rails to fire projectiles at incredible speeds. Okay. Um, engineering. We've got uh, maniacal research speed plus 5, so nothing in particular. Uh, kinetic weapon attack speed plus 5%. That's not too bad. I could go after the uh, advanced railguns, but... Engineering facility, defense station is probably going to be a good thing. We probably do want to start getting, um, working on that. Uh, we do have powerful pop factions, but we really can't do anything about that right now. I do not, well, I, okay, I do have the influence, I could do something, but in fact, what I really want to do is build something here, actually. Um, solar panel network. On the surface, I want this place... Do I want that place? Where was I going to put it here? Where was I going to put it? I mean, I could always just paper over the uh, single society research that's here. I don't really care that much about society research at the moment. Although engineering is what I've got a ton of. There's nothing in any of those... Uh, Tile blockers. Now, I think I was going to go here, um, get this, get adjacency with that so that it's worth more. 
All right, so we can build the planetary administration here. That's fine. We'll lose that one um, energy credit, but that's okay. And since we're building that, let's go ahead and... That's right, I need to wait until that finishes. Okay. So, there goes my... Uh, ooh, and I am getting slightly less. Oh, I'm getting less from Rivals. I think it recalculates that when you start up a new game. How many Rivals do I actually have? United Flex Klanga, uh, the Tebadoran. The Juran League is where I'm getting the most. Who do I... Well, I'm not getting much from Flex Klanga. Alright. I don't care about you guys, I don't think. Um... I wish I could see exactly what I'm getting... Let's go ahead and end the uh, rivalry. And let's see. Plus point eight. I was getting point five, it looks like. It's point four. That's point four. That's point four. Can't choose them because they're vassals. Uh, where are your? Oh, it's up here. All right. Point two. That's point four. Okay, so really the Rekthalar are the only guys that I can do this with. Alright, let's get a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. 3.3. Uh, Tebadoran Confederation has uh, ended their rivalry. Robin has finished construction of a terraforming station. Okay. So, we can uh, terraform this world, and it is a, um, a tropical world. So, we can terraform it right to a continental world. Let's begin that. That costs quite a bit, but I think we'll go ahead and do it. Um, it's always good to have uh, more worlds that we can colonize, and uh, it's nice to have that uh, max, cap, max happiness cap. All right, what do we want Robin to do? There's some engineering up there. Uh, some more engineering down there. That's not within my system. There's some society there. Society could be good, since we are lacking a little bit of that. I'll grab that already. We're getting a good positive on um, on energy. We're getting a huge amount of uh, uh, minerals, which is pretty nice. Uh, let's go ahead and build mining stations and research stations here. I think that's uh, going to be worthwhile. Seems a little choppy right now for some reason. Uh, this uh, the uh, 1.1 patch is now live, um, so I'm using the live patch rather than the beta patch at this time. What are we doing in our sectors? Uh, we got an insult from our vassals. <laughs> You know you guys are going to be uh, um, integrated eventually. Uh, let's see. They are disloyal. Um, I think that relative power of subjects thing is uh, relative... Like, all of my subjects compared to me. Like, the total power that they have compared to my power. Meaning that all of them together, if they 
could, and I don't know if they can, uh, rise up against me, then they would uh, um, they would have more power than I do. Um, but I'm I'm not too worried about that. I mean, we'll be integrating these guys pretty soon. Construction complete. Seventeen months. What do we get? All right, spaceport on Maya has finished. All right, that's fine. Oh yeah, you guys. Um, let's go ahead and land some of you over here. So there are fewer uh, Tepidoran Repatriarchs in the uh, uh, faction now. Um, this is 25 there, and this is 48 here. I don't know what that means. Uh, but they're at 30% right now. Uh, rivalry there. Rivalry there. Let's see this. Okay, it's these guys up here. Ah, that's going to be one of the reasons why. Um, now, I would definitely like to go after these guys at some point. They are showing up as equivalent. So, that would be nice. Uh, I should probably work on some more ships. What, um, uh, I could do a destroyer assembly yard, but that's just, uh, build speed and cost, which is okay. But things like chance to hit would be good. What do we actually have? Uh, we've got one Zero. Uh, I don't have any Aurelium. I don't know that kinetic weapon is really weapons damage is really going to be all that good though. Uh, Fleet Academy would give chance to evade weapons damage, chance to hit. What are what are the sh uh, planets in our sectors building? That's a good question. They haven't done anything yet. Okay. Uh, nope. Didn't want that. Oh yeah, I need to hire a new um, a new leader as well. All right, you've got an observatory there. This is the one that should have a, an observatory, and you get more out of it, or here, for that matter. You got an engineering bay. They will build these up. They're not always going to be very good at it. They're not really building much. Um, these guys did build a fleet academy, though. So I think what I will do is... Let's go ahead and build the destroyer assembly yard here. Actually. Hmm. It's actually cheaper. I don't know if I can build that here. Doesn't say I'm lacking the resource. So, theoretically, this should uh, use that. So let's go ahead and build that. And then we'll build some... Uh... Oh, yeah, that's right, we've got cruisers. Let's build some cruisers. I like cruisers. Construction complete. All right, Chipu, has... Chipu and company has finished... What did you finish? A research station. Okay. Oh, that's a good research station. That means we got uh, some more Zero. All right. That's right. You're up here. Um, there's some society research. There's a hell of a lot of minerals up here. Let's go grab that. This lies within my space, but I can't actually get to it. Because the only route is um, from here and uh, from here. <laughs> this will probably uh, fall into my um, space eventually. On the other hand, I mean, the nice thing is that I get all this stuff anyway. Which is pretty sweet. I do want this system. 
Uh, Tebadoran, uh... The Tebadorans have decided to, um... Establish an embassy with us. Uh, Drakenfels has finished surface construction queue. What were you building? I don't remember. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but you can improve some, uh, power plants. That's good. Uh, this guy is... Has a, a happiness modifier. I think that's a terror bombing thing. Which I have learned is due to, um... If I kill a pop on a... Uh on a world while uh, bombarding it. So, thanks to viewers who've mentioned that. Uh, let's see. I could get rid of this orbital hydroponic farm for something else. I might... I could go for... Um, I think I'd rather go for the Fleet Academy. I mean, I could go... Well, actually, I don't see it on the list here. But yeah, the Fleet Academy might be pretty good. Construction Let's wait another month. There we go. Let's swap that out with the Fleet Academy. Alright, Maya has finished its uh, surface construction queue. Excellent. That's very good. Alright, so we now have our planetary administration here. Um, let's start by building some hydroponics farms. Get some uh, food coming in immediately. Um, I think we might want to start with the hydroponics farm here as well. We'll lose the two mineral, but I'm doing really well on mineral right now. And I'm going to go build a mining... Uh, network here. Uh, you're going to be done soon, so let's go ahead and build a power plant here. And let's just uh, clear up these. All right, 13 months remaining. Oh, the Kataknor block has decided to uh, um, declare me a rival. That's interesting. I can't declare them a rival. They are inferior to us in all ways. They are non-human humans. Non-human humans. I always like having non-human humans. Of course, one of my favorite uh, um, uh, personal, uh, the you know, one of my favorite races that I've created myself is uh, um, uh, Stellar Pryden, the uh, the Welsh people in space, because of course they're just that awesome. Sabotage on Rixish. Unfortunate. Uh, Rixish is where? Here? Yeah. Alright, what are you fools doing? Basic mine ruined. I don't really care what you guys do. I mean... Yeah, sure, you're unhappy, but whatever. You'll get over it. Recently conquered. That'll, that'll go away eventually. Nah, my... You know, the, the, this sector will handle it. Oh, we've got a Tomb World there. Three pops on Diana's Diamond. Oh, that's right. Some of them moved over there, didn't they? Yeah, you guys are uh, not terribly happy about this either. I mean, these guys are xenophiles. Once they're over their um, anger, they should actually be uh, fairly reasonable people. Construction complete. 
All right, the Fex Klanga has uh, have uh, pulled back their embassy, and the spaceport of Stardew has finished its construction queue. Uh, they decided to build crew quarters. Huh. They have a construction ship called the Ilmarinen. Construction complete. Construction complete. All right, spaceport here has uh, finished an observatory. Oh, that's right. I've got you guys. Uh, what do you, you desert preference? Can I actually um, colonize desert yet? I don't think I can. I don't. Nope. Can't colonize that yet. <laughs> ah, well, they'll pay that uh, um, just fine. And uh, Spaceport Brixish has finished uh, an observatory as well. I mean, I do like that I can um, change around the uh, spaceports that they've built. Research complete. All right, we've got uh, databank uplinks. Excellent. High capacity quantum bands dedicated to databank transfers make possible virtually completely synchronous research operations across vast distances. Fantastic. All right, new research. Uh, we can get plus one research alternatives. That's pretty nice. Um, energy weapon damage plus five percent. It's not too bad. Zero point power is awesome. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to go for that just yet, though. We do have... We're pretty close to finishing up shields, though. So there's that. Uh, cloud lightning conduits. Plasma accelerators are pretty nice. Hmm. You know what? I think it's probably going to be a better idea to focus on something that we can knock out fairly quick. Um, as much... Well... I mean, these are good. And actually... Ooh. This is still going to take a uh, yeah, hundred months. Hmm. As good as that is, I think that we'll we'll put that aside. I think we'll we will put that aside. Um. Fairly close to getting some of these done, so I think we'll just do that. Get them out of the way. While we work on getting some more uh, research. All right, let's see. Um, Debadorans are recalling their embassy. And Robin is now done. Okay. We're still doing pretty well on energy, although I'm, I'm a little bit... not worried, per se, about pulling uh, our fleet out, but... You know what? I don't think we really need that much more in the way of uh, minerals at the moment. I mean, we're getting 350. Let's focus on the research that's available. Um, there's some engineering there. I don't really care about engineering that much, though. That's engineering. All right, there is a lot here, but I think this is mostly, yeah, this is mostly colonizable worlds. Although I don't know that I'm... You know, since this is a size 25 world, it may be a good idea to say screw it on these other worlds and not bother colonizing them ever. Um, I mean, this one is uh, size 11, so it's not that big. This one is also size 25. Shoot. <laughs> I would like to terraform that. Um, oh, and that has some awesome stuff on the surface. What does Anonymy have on the surface? Anonymy is full of stuff. What does Annabelle have on the surface? Eh. That's a fair bit of food. Um, some decent places to put down the, uh, uh, the thing. But the thing is, is that I mean, those other two worlds in there, that continental world and that tundra world, those are awesome. Those are going to be uh, 
eventually in my, you know, I, I want those to eventually be in my um, uh, core worlds. Uh, I don't know that I care about what's on here. That does, that has a lot of physics research. It does have a lot of physics research, though. There's almost nothing that uh, you can actually... There, there's just three clear tiles, though. That's amazing. Um, I think we might still want to uh, clear that, uh, terraform that one. What about over here? I mean, I can always uh, just kind of say screw it and get the research for now and, and eliminate the uh, um, the research later. So engineering, all right. Yeah, let's do that. Um, okay. Let's have you come up here. Build research stations, and then build research stations. We can always get rid of them later. I think it's better to get the research right now. Complete. All right, Drakenfels has finished its, uh, what was it, surface construction? Yeah, all right. What else can you do? Not a whole lot. You're basically done. What are you actually producing? You are giving me plus 30 uh, energy credits, so that's pretty sweet. Oh, and... Um, alright. Let's have... Let's actually take a look at our... our worlds. Okay. Drakenfels and Draconis are, of course, producing the most science. Um, but Nidhogger isn't too bad. These two aren't too bad either. All right. Well, I think what we want to do is start out. Don't don't worry about upgrading right now. Um, let's go ahead and assist research. And you. Was it Drakenfels? Yeah. Go ahead and assist research. There we go. So we'll get some more research out of that up until we can uh, actually start uh, exploring and scanning other places. Ah, there we go. We've got arid colonization. Excellent. That'll help us with the uh, the Hazi. Um, form federation, empire leader capacity plus one is good. Hydroponics farm three is pretty good too. Um... I think I kind of want the uh, uh, gene crops more. Let's go with that. Get the uh, upgraded uh, hydro hydroponics farm. Research complete. All right, so we've got uh, defense station. New construction methods will allow for the construction of even larger military stations in the depths of space. What else? Uh, carrier operations, military station health plus ten percent, or battleships. Those would be very expensive, though. Um. Hmm. This is a bit cheaper, so I'm tempted for carrier operations. Uh, we might want that for the battleships anyway, although we'll want the amoebas for that. Let's go for uh, carrier operations. All right, and I'll probably end up uh, designing this off camera, but uh, we've got uh, this defense station now, uh, which has either um, you can do a heavy weapon, a hangar, two medium, or large weapon, two medium weapons, four small weapons, or one hangar in each of the four sections. Uh, it also has the options of Nanobot Cloud, um, Defensive Aura Support, uh, Monthly Hull Regeneration, plus 5%, uh, Shield Dampener, uh, Offensive 
or, uh, well, uh, shield hit points minus 25%, monthly shield regeneration minus 5%, or shield hit points minus 25%, I think I said 5%. Uh, it defaults to the uh, snare, uh, jump charge time plus 400%, sublight speed minus 50%, and emergency faster than light jump cooldown plus 100%. Incoming hostile fleets will be forcibly redirected to the station. Um, so that's pretty good, and that's a good thing to, like, um, it's not always the best thing to put around a planet, but if you've got, if that planet is also where your fleet is docked up, that's not so bad. Um, the best thing is to put this somewhere, uh, that you so you can control where the enemy comes to comes in um, although I probably talked about these with the uh, other defense station the defense platform and then of course the uh, proximity mines uh, ships within the field ha have a 20% chance each day to take 5 to 10 damage ignoring 75% of armor this damage can be dodged I haven't really found the minefields all that useful these are of course awesome these are good for defense stations that you have near your, uh, you know, where your uh, main base is, essentially, or your, your main fleet is. So you can just have them sit there and heal up without spending anything. Uh, and, of course, the shield dampener is also good for uh, if you're going to try and destroy the uh, uh, ships coming in. But you only have one option there. Um... I may hold off until we get some new uh, stuff before I design that. I am probably also going to wait until I have the uh, the final uh, defense station designed before I actually deploy any of them as well. Uh, I don't think I'm too... I'm not really that worried about it, although... Like, these guys I'm pretty sure have warp. Um, so they can get over here fairly easily. So setting up a defense station uh, someplace where they would be forced to come in would be good. And, of course, places like, you know, here, where they would also be coming in, would be good. Same thing over here. But, uh, don't really need them right now. And they're very expensive. Uh, but I would like to finish up... <sighs> Yunari is still trying to... Ins still insulting me. Let's see, how, do, how much longer do we have? One month! Alright, alright. Construction complete. We're taking the episode quite a bit longer. But it's fine. Okay. So, let's actually... There we go. That's updated. Alright, so I am probably going to need to spend some time uh, taking care of this. Uh, I actually need to um, sort all this up. The second mycelium carriers are missing in action. We've got unemployment. We have too many planets, of course. Uh, negative balance. Wow, that was a huge negative balance. We're really going to have to work on that. Um, Alright, yeah, I think I had minus four before, so I am going to go... Let's, let's go destroy this right off the bat. Just outright disband it. Alright, so we've got the first mycelium carriers. Um, what are we looking at? Corvettes. We do have hyperdrives. Uh, small UV lasers. Small space torpedoes. So this is just all Corvettes, but there's a couple different ones. looks like. Okay, there we go. Some with small advanced rail guns. Um, they've got zero point reactors already. Wow. And I can't take a look at them. They were, okay, apparently down Are they down there? No? And you guys, where are you? You're up here. Okay. Um, but they just have Corvettes as well. Uh, I could upgrade them. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what they would upgrade to. 
I think they would upgrade to my designs. But I'm not sure. I'm actually not sure. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'll use I'll probably end up using them more as cannon fodder to start with, since I don't really care about these guys. Um, but yeah. So anyway, uh, we'll call this an episode. I'm gonna have to go through and sort these uh, systems out um, because their worlds are gonna have to go into this sector here, the Herbie Dragon sector. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna put in the. Uh, worlds. I'll have to put some of them in, but uh, we do have a 17 size continental world there, which is pretty nice. Desert world. Uh, looks like that's about it. So we didn't really gain many good uh, continental worlds that we can get. Uh, they had re-education campaigns and propaganda broadcasts coming in. Uh, and those will be in place for a while. So that's actually kind of nice to keep those, um, those edicts without having to actually do anything. Uh, there's quite a bit that can be upgraded. I don't know that I'm going to actually do that. Uh, they never actually upgraded their planetary to a planetary capital, which is a little disappointing. But, um, I think that's their... Oh, no, that might... No, that was not their, um, uh, capital. This is their capital, but they also had not upgraded it to a planetary or the empire capital, so I'm not getting any extra, uh, influence out of that. Uh, let's see. Happiness minus 25. Their happiness is 5%. Recently conquered. Uh, primary species only for leadership. Native enlightenment allowed. And alien overlords minus 20%. Yeah. That's going to be an issue. They are not going to be happy. But um, the uh, happiness minus 25% at least will go away eventually. Um, and some of these I might be able to help. I mean, I could always set leadership to um, any. I don't know. Uh, but we'll see. Anyway, uh, that'll be it for this episode. In the next one, I'll have sorted through these uh, worlds. Uh, probably initiated some upgrades, although I don't know that I'm going to upgrade any of the food here. Well, I suppose I should, and just uh, um, you know, figure out what can be uh, eliminated. Uh, they're producing power. They're producing power. They are losing power. Um, that's unfortunate. And I still don't have the t I don't have the tech to get rid of massive glaciers. Yeah. So I'll I'll take a look. Some of these uh, tiles. All right. There is physics there. Um, but I may like like this has nothing on it. So I'll probably swap this over to power or something like that. Uh, unfortunately, you know, that Empire minus 15, that's because I've got inefficient planet management, which I kind of feel should uh, only kick in after, like, three months or something like that to give you time to sort things out. But, you know, that's, you know, neither here nor there. Anyway, when we come back, I'll have taken care of a lot of this. See you then, everyone.